<laughs> Who knows what evil in the heart of game? <laughs> the shadow knows. Hi, I'm the Shadow Snows and I'm back with another Let's Compare video. Tonight I compare the game Super Cycle on the Commodore 64, the Amstrad CPC and uh, the Atari ST. And I start with the Commodore 64 where you have some uh, options to change uh, your bike and your, your leather coat and you have uh, three difficulty levels. And yes, this game loads a lot, but uh, the cracked version I have, uh, made by Remember, uh, for speed DOS, so loading times are not that bad. Ah, it's already uh, finished. Only uh, three three years in a motorcycle. Hey, I'm fast. Ah, yikes. and I'm dead. Great. So I hope I make at least uh, the first level. It shouldn't be too hard. But this game is, is, is really, really fast. So it really uh, feels... Like you're riding on, on a motorcycle at a very high speed. Oh, crap! Come on! Yes, I know my time is running out. Two, one, zero. Ah, oh, great. Next try. Okay, let's see if I can at least uh, finish the first level. Normally the game is not uh, that hard. And uh, I've played it before, once. And I made it quite far, even on uh, the second level. So let's see if I'm better in this round. And yes, it's really, really fast. The motorcycle is controlled a little bit erratic. But you can get used to it. And that was a proper lap. See, it's not that hard. And loading uh, between the levels is very, very short.
And it's getting harder. You can't uh, go uh, through the curse at full speed. Or at least I can't. But it's really, really uh, an interesting racer. Huh? One of the, uh, I think it's copyright 1985, so it's it's a quite early release for the Commodore 64. And I think I'll edit here and uh, try to show you some later levels. And there is a bonus track every couple of levels where you have to uh, not die, where you have to uh, connect those flags for bonus points. And the first round is pretty boring it's just a straight a uh, straight line so not too much uh, to do but it gets more difficult in in later levels so I edit here again and try to show you some later levels and I think this will be the last level I play Commodore 64 just because I have two other versions to do and as you can see you have those slippery ice on the road it's especially bad uh, when when you run up on it in a curve but in later levels there are, uh, su uh, there's a thunderstorm in the background and you have uh, pools of water and oil on, on, on the road. You have uh, blocked lanes so uh, you can only use uh, half of the road. Pretty, uh, uh, pretty uh, much variations in this, uh, in this race up for a uh, Commodore 64 game. I really played it uh, a lot as a kid. But uh, it will become. Bo it gets boring and after you played it for a while. But uh, you can always come back to this game and uh, play it uh, again for for a round or two. And uh, maybe uh, with other versions, the, the high score saver uh, works. So you can always uh, try to beat your own high score. And it, it should save uh, 50 different uh, scores. So if you can find a friend to play it on, on your Commodore 64, uh, you can try to beat his high score or he can try to beat yours. It's a pretty uh, awesome feature for Commodore 64 game. And uh, here we have oil and, uh, and water. I don't know if there's uh, any difference in the degree of slippery, uh, slipperiness is that a word? I don't know but anyway I switch to the Amstrad version okay back with the Amstrad version this one uh, doesn't have the uh, the screen where you can uh, choose the color of your bike and, and your your code and, and such but it loads from tape and it takes quite a while so I'll be back if, uh, if the game is loaded
Okay, the track has loaded. So, uh, let's give it a try. Well, it's not as fast as, as the uh, Commodore 64, but not too bad speed-wise on, on the Amstrad, and it's reasonably uh, colorful, and for some reason my uh, Picture is collapsing. Ah, come on. It controls a little different from the uh, Commodore 64 version. It's it's hard to describe, but if you play it, you will feel it. It's uh, I really can can't put it into words. And yes, it loads every track uh, from tape, but it doesn't take too long, it's, it's not too bad. But I don't like uh, the sound of the engine. It somehow sounds more like, like a truck than, than a motorcycle. Or maybe the Amstrad people uh, used to uh, drive races with a Harley or something like that and not with a uh, a racing bike it, it is a little bit slower than the Commodore 64 version but it's it's not too bad it's so far it's the best race I played on the uh, Amstrad but that doesn't mean too much I only uh, played Buggy Boy so yeah, I like it more than Buggy Boy, at least on the Amstrad. But again, that doesn't mean too much. But it's it's a decent uh, it's a decent game. I think I prefer the Commodore version, but nothing wrong with it. Maybe the sound, or only the engine sound. The tire screaming is. It's nicer, uh, nicer than on, on the Commodore 64, I think. And uh, I'll edit here and try to make it to the bonus round, if there is any. And okay, we have the bonus track on the Amstrad. So it seems uh, they didn't leave out uh, any important game elements. Hey! And again, it's a little different from the Commodore 64 version. But I think it's just something uh, we have to get used to. I find uh, the Amstrad version uh, quite playable. So within its capabilities, and I think it's a very early Amstrad game. This is quite good. So maybe there are better races on the uh, Amstrad, but I, I haven't played any, so... Really, uh, I think it's a game to uh, try out on the Amstrad. But I won't play any, any longer. I would bet they also included uh, the oil and the water, so uh, maybe maybe someone who uh, who played this a little bit longer can uh, 
can tell in the in the comments if if it does include uh, the other features from the Commodore 64. But I'll continue with the uh, Atari ST for now. Okay, back with the Atari ST version. And I have to use the joystick that's plugged into the Atari ST, of course. And here we can choose a bike. That looks nice. And I think we have some more colors. Ah, I'll take yellow. Level 2. And let's start it. And that it is. And the ST has uh, quite some long loading times uh, from tape, uh, from, from disc. It feels even longer than uh, the loading times on the Amstrad from... And yeah, that's the engine sound. I don't know what motorcycles uh, those programmers uh, were driving, but they really sound weird. And I'm not sure about the controls. It's it's definitely more on the Commodore 64 side. Oh, asshole. But... What the fuck? Okay, the opponents are a little bit more intelligent or do different stuff. But uh, really, the engines sound total crap. game is not too bad. I don't think it feels as fast as uh, the Commodore 64. And that's what's different with the control. You stupid asshole. And that's what's different with the controls on the, uh, on the Amstrad. It's uh, much more forgiving than on uh, the Atari and on the Commodore 64. And yes, it loads again. And for some reason, uh, and that's the tire squeal. Awesome. Really awesome. And it has the same sound chip as the uh, Amstrad, so there's absolutely no excuse for those sounds. Really. And for some reason there was no Amiga version of this. I don't know why, but there wasn't any. Maybe Epix didn't like the Amiga in, in the early days. Because uh, there wasn't an uh, Amiga version of Championship Wrestling 2. And I uh, did a Let's Compare video where I compared Championship Wrestling on the ST and and the, uh, not the Amiga, what was the, um, uh, what was the, Commodore 64, great, awesome. I can't go any slower, really, and I can't go any further right. That's great, really great game design. Beth, great, awesome. Okay, I probably won't make it to the bonus level and I'm already so... Why did I die this time?
Yeah. Come on, count me out. I'm so pissed right now off this game. I really don't want to try the... I have to try the bonus round. Or at least the next level. But this is a terrible game. Yeah, lucky. Lucky that I have to play another round. Were they drunk when they designed this level or, or what? But I remember that on the uh, Amstrad too, so... Mm. Yeah. And I made it to the bonus round. So let's see how, how that plays on the Atari. Well done. Not lucky. But the engine sound is really terrible. Hey, at least the sound uh, when you collect the flags is, is halfway decent. But overall, you can forget it on the ST. I bet there are much, much better racers. Wasn't there an RVF Honda game on the ST and the Amiga? Or was it only on the Amiga? I don't know. Maybe I have to check that out. So, uh, I think I'll stop it right now. I really don't like it on the ST. So, uh, the Commodore 64 version is a classic. So, uh, and it's, it's, it's really a classic, it's not only a, a man, a said to be a classic, it, it's really a classic racing game. Uh, it will get boring over time, but hey, which game doesn't get boring? So, the Amstrad version, there's nothing wrong with the Amstrad version. Controls is a little bit more forgiving than the Commodore 64 and the Atari, but it's a little bit slower. A really, a, really a racing game uh, to check out on the Amstrad, and just forget about the Atari version. It's crap. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching.